Hey everybody, welcome back to the Foamy Build. Today's episode covers more fiberglassing and prep, getting ready for paint. Let's get started. the first part of that when your mama calls you answer it Somewhat concerned about this sharp ridge here, but the more you play with this stuff, the worse the overall smoothness seems to get. I'm gonna try to just take that big wad out right there. Oh man, that came out great. Just took using two hands. Yeah, I can live with that. Living life dangerously again. Help me! Here's about what you can expect. I'm trying to smear out micro cleanly. As you can see, some of it looks better than others. And this side needed a lot less fairing. Enter the Eliminator. This should speed things up significantly. This is an extremely messy process. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the camera gear away and chip away at this for the next hour or so. I'll bring it back for an overview of how everything turned out before we get started fiberglassing these seams. Well, I think that came out better than to be expected. It's always nice when you exceed your own expectations. This thing is smooth. And this was the bad side. You're a good boy. <laughs> so we've got everything sanded here, prepped up really nice. If the smoothness of everything here is any indication of our finished product, I'm absolutely stoked on it. Uh, we got the seam across the middle here, as well as this side. 
you'll see on the roof here, I've got all my cloth pre-cut. We're gonna start with a four inch piece, move up to a seven inch piece, and then the final layer will be a piece of this nine inch continuous. We will have a seam, I don't know, somewhere in here, and we're likely gonna have uh, some darts cut into this. We'll just try to stagger those layer to layer. I've got the time lapse set up on this side, and I think I'll uh, wear you on my head and get started on this side. Got all these inside seams prepped as well. How am I supposed to know if this thing's going or not? It's actually a relief not have, having to do any micro right now. We're gonna get everything wet out for this first layer of glass. It should be about uh, two inches on either side of the seam here. And I'm using a one inch brush. So that gives me a good idea where to put the resin down. here so that stuff grabs good and send check this out brand new squeegee even made in the USA Cleaned up my shears today too, and man, they're like brand new. Nice. Downside of cutting your own tapes this thin, that edge tends to want to unravel, unweave itself. You just have to kind of be delicate up here on these wispy bits. The squeegee will really grab these loose ends and make things a mess real quick. And this guy, I think, I think, I think, goes on next. Yeah, that's a pretty fair line. Ooh, that's a thing of beauty. Save this guy. With that edge tacked down like that, we'll go through and cut some darts, as I like to call them. I'm not sure. Pleats, maybe? That's what you'd call them in like, the upholstery world. Keep them a reasonable size. And I try to overlap that seam that you cut with the next layer. See how this piece I just cut is going to overlap the seam there. If you just kind of poke the intersection where they meet here it'll flatten out. Line it up based off of our last one. Pretty dang good. Got a lot hanging here. Our pleats are going to be pretty long. I'm going to get this upper edge wet out really well and anchored down. The trick here is to stagger your seams from the last layer and this layer. If you were halfway decent at making your pieces the same size, it's pretty easy to do. Thank you. 
two plies on all these joints now. We're getting ready to start putting the last and final layer down. Putting this down right off the roll. I think that was my plan anyway. This one's relatively easy to line up. got just a little bit of epoxy left over from doing that outer seam. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this uh, inside seam with that epoxy I've got left and then we'll get stuck into doing some fillets and a couple layers of tape in here. This is very ergonomic working position here. That small amount of Neat epoxy there in the corners just primes that surface to accept the filler. Not exactly ergonomic trying to work around the camera. I think I've got some untrimmed fiberglass stabbing me in the hip. Ow. Hey buddy. Hey, stay out of that. Oh boy. All right, that's what the first ply is gonna look like. Uh, you pretty much get the idea. We'll come back later. Wrapping things up here for the day. We've got uh, all of the outside upper seams taped. Three layers all the way around. I did this roof seam off camera. It's got three layers on it as well. We did this side yesterday. You saw that on the head cam. Additionally, we've got three layers of tape on this back wall on each side. We're here at the front of the camper and we're working on our front tie downs. Originally, I was gonna use something like this, as you can see from our original layup here, and this didn't quite sit right with me. I decided I wanted some more surface area. And so we came up with this shape, which is now our pink layout. And it's got some nice rounded corners. We're gonna fill this hole with flocks, so that'll give us a little extra strength. And I think they should work out great. Now we need to take the router and cut these pockets out. Off camera, I made up some uh, more of these hard points. We've covered this in the past. Check out uh, some of the previous videos if you want a more detailed explanation of these. But we're gonna locate them inside. We need some uh, camera mounting points, uh, some spots where we can uh, bolt the hook to or any other kind of organizational tool. We've got everything laid out here. I'm gonna do three on each side. So our first one's back in the corner here. Our second one's right in the middle of the window, and our third one, four. Got our hole saw marked with some tape for depth, and we'll just go through and drill where our marks are. Pretty good bond on that guy.
I just bonded in our six hard points off camera. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. I've been dragging my feet on these. Let's uh, get them bonded on so tomorrow we can glass them in and move on. Mixing, 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 mixing. Hey, don't stand there. All right. That's done. Let's get over here. Make sure we get these edges really well. We're not super concerned about this side because we'll sand that back before we fiberglass. Take this blocks, fill this big void here. That's where the uh, bottom ply of the interior bench is located. Having some structural filler here will really make me feel better about it. Right about there is where the GoPro died. As you can see, we did successfully get these bonded on. Uh, we've got some flocks in the middle where our hardware was, and they're ready for some glass at this point. You gonna be cute for the camera? Smile. That's gonna do it for this week's video. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's repetitive at this point. It's, uh, you know, Fill the, fill the cracks, make it smooth, put fiberglass over it. Uh, I think there's plenty of episodes that cover that now. I think we're up to 10 or 11. We do have these front points ready to glass. We got some features on the bottom that have been filled and they're ready for fiberglass. Interior roof to wall joint is ready for fiberglass. I'll add clips of that process to the beginning of next video, which will hopefully cover paint. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.